hi guys in today's video i wanted to show you different natural hairstyles that you can do with your natural hair and what hairstyles has gotten me the most compliments i've seen a lot of videos talking about how to glow up physically but i've not seen any videos pertaining to natural hair and different hairstyles that you can do so here it is for my natural hair girly so that you can try some of these hairstyles and glow up as well so if you enjoy these type of videos please stay tuned the first thing i want to mention when it comes to doing your natural hair i will say it is very important that you focus on your mentality I've seen it happen so many times where a girl wears her natural hair out and the style will be bomb. She's looking very pretty and she receives a compliment from someone and she always says, oh no, nah, I just decided to wear my hair like this because I'm yet to have my hair braided. Um, I had no choice but to walk out with my natural hair and it's so sad to hear and i feel like that person hasn't reached a point where she has accepted herself naturally so it is important that whatever hairstyle you're wearing you wear it with pride you've accepted yourself and you feel comfortable and confident in yourself to wear your hair with pride because you could look very pretty but the way you carry yourself can reduce the prettiness in my opinion because you're not wearing your hair with pride you're looking down instead of wearing your head held high you feel me so please when you're wearing your natural hair have confidence no matter what length it is at or how thick or thin as long as it's healthy wear it with confidence my sister accept it your hair is your crown also i wanted to add that the first three pictures of each hairstyle is going to be pictures of me i thought it would be interesting to add other people's pictures as well because um when i encourage people to wear their natural hair out more often some people would say it's easier for me to wear my hair out because it has grown thicker and longer but even when i had shorter hair i still wore my hair out as much as i could but i also wore it in protective styles of course to protect my hair but i wanted to show you variety of natural hair and how beautiful it can look regardless of how long or short it is so i added pictures of other people's hair as well my favorite favorite hairstyle and the hairstyle that has gotten me the most compliments is a braid out it's fun it's bouncy and you've got some curls i love braid outs and the way i do my braid out is i do six braids on my head and then i separate the braids after waking up in the morning so i leave the braids in for the night and then separate it in the morning and yeah and then i have these big curly hair and i just love um doing the braid outs this way because my hair is more thicker and fuller instead of doing braid outs um using a lot of braids because i've realized for me when i do it that way my hair is not as thick or the volume isn't as great and i prefer volume over definition all day every day so um that's how i do my braid out and also i need to mention that you need to make sure that your hair is stretched you can use the banding method or the african threading method to stretch your hair or you can blow dry your hair on a very low heat and then achieve um the braid out but the way i like to do my braid out is um by braiding my hair in six sections so that i have the most volume possible and i feel like this hairstyle is perfect for dinners for like a cocktail night with friends or your special someone um it, it makes you look so pretty and yeah i love a braid out the second hairstyle on this list is abdus Ooh, i love an abdu <laughs> if you've been watching my shorts you can clearly tell that i love abdus because i've got a lot of videos um showing how i create abdus so if you're interested please check those out they are so classy and sophisticated 
and they are perfect for special occasions like weddings graduation because you've got your hair up and you're just serving face but literally your hair has become a crown because your hair is up in a very beautiful style so that's the beauty about abdus and i feel like abdus aren't as hard to style or prep because with a braid out you have to prep the hairstyle you have to braid your hair the night before make sure that everything is set and you've left it in for a while so that you get those curls but with an updo you don't have to do as much um all you have to make sure is your hair is not tangled and you just style your hair also it's great once um your braid out or your twist out has lost definition or is not as um popping as it used to be like um when you've had it out in the first two days you can decide to put your hair in an updo because um your hair is tucked away they can see some definition going on but they're not seeing the whole style so if you've got like pieces where um there's a lot of frizz you can just put in an updo and you look perfect and good to go so hence my love for updos um like i said i love to wear these hairstyles for weddings um graduations and just more formal occasions um and also to church as well the third hairstyle on the list is a fro oh gosh there is nothing more beautiful than a black girl who wears hair hair unapologetically natural a girl who doesn't feel like her hair needs to be super curly or defined for her hair to be quote unquote done I feel like it's a game changer for you to get to that stage, for you to feel like you have nothing to prove and you've just accepted yourself naturally. And of course, if you've got curly 3A hair, 3B hair, it's beautiful. But I feel like in the natural hair community, um, 4C hair girls are usually marginalized. Um, sometimes some people will have um, videos saying that their hair is 4C but it's not 4C and because of that our hair is underrepresented so for you to be able to wear your hair like this I mean it's just beautiful and it shows that you're comfortable and confident in yourself and the way I do this look is usually by twisting my hair in chunky twists and then separating my hair um, for those who've been watching me for a while, you know that I love um, to stretch my hair. I try not to wear my hair in completely shrunken hairstyles. Um, that is because if I wear my hair in shrunken hairstyles, I will get a lot of matting and single strand knots. And that um, increases my hair breakage. And I'm trying to retain as much length as possible. So that's why I do not wear my hair in completely shrunken hairstyles sometimes my hair is not completely stretched out most of the time it isn't but i love the fro look because it looks very elegant and beautiful and i love wearing these hairstyles um especially when i'm going out for brunch with my friends or i'm just outside running errands like going to the grocery store that's usually my go-to hairstyle I just have my hair out and yeah I just go about my business the fourth hairstyle on the list are low buns and low ponytail hairstyles I love these hairstyles because they are literally perfect for every occasion if you are going to work and you're unsure of what to do to your hair just put your hair in a low bun or a low ponytail because you have your hair away from your face you can concentrate and do your work and also if you don't want any attention you don't want people coming up to you and asking you um <laughs> this question that i hate so much is your hair all yours is it all real then you can put your hair in a low bun um so that you don't have a lot of attention because sometimes I am tired of answering these questions and even though some people have seen my hair in an afro at work or in church sometimes they're still fascinated about it so 
if I don't want any extra attention, I just put my hair in a low bun. Um, also, if I'm going grocery shopping or I'm running errands, it's also perfect. You don't have to use gel to achieve this hairstyle. All you have to make sure is that your hair is properly moisturized. If your hair is super thick like mine, you can try and put your hair in a ponytail by sectioning it and adding the hair little by little. Um, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube showing how they sleek their hair and sometimes they have videos showing them doing this without using gel because I wouldn't recommend you using gel. It can really dry out your hair and when i do these hairstyles i don't use any gel so it can definitely be done if you're going to use a gel use a natural gel like flaxseed gel or aloe vera gel and for me i use okra gel all the time as a leave-in and that helps um, my hairstyles to look much more sleek so you can do it this way instead of using a gel the fifth hairstyle on this list are twists. I love twists, especially for summer because during summer I wear my hair out more often and when I feel like my hair needs a break, I put my hair in twists just to protect my hair and um, avoid me manipulating my hair so much. And the great thing about it is I can leave it in for about two to four weeks. But usually after I've put my hair in twists for about two weeks, the front section can be a bit freezy. So what I do is I unravel the twists and then retwist the front section. And then I have a completely new style. It looks brand new, which is perfect for me. And what I love with twists is um, the diversity of it. You can style it in very different ways. So it looks um, brand new and cute each time you wear it. Okay, so an important thing to add is that you want to find the right twist size for your hair because if the twists are too tiny it might be very hard to unravel and that can um, cause a lot of tangles and it's going to be um, hard to detangle your hair but if you've got like the perfect size for me the perfect size is when it's medium size it's not too big not too small um, I find that those styles last longer and I don't experience a lot of breakage after removing my twists. So yeah, there you have it. These are my five favorite natural hairstyles and the hairstyles that got me the most compliments. I hope you find some inspiration on how to style your hair. And when I talk about these hairstyles, it could be with extensions or without extensions. It's just what you prefer or what you feel like your hair needs you might feel like your hair needs a protective style so you might have a wig that looks very natural um so that you can achieve these hairstyles thank you so much for watching till the end please don't forget to like comment and subscribe till next time bye